The Small Cap Power Expert Interview. Today on the Small Cap Power Expert Interview, we welcome Steve Palmer, the CEO and Chief Investment Officer at Alpha North Asset Management. Steve, thanks for joining us again today. Thanks for inviting me. So, Steve, for the benefit of our new viewers, can you give us a brief background to Alpha North, your fund, and your focus? Alpha North was founded in 2007. Uh, we focus on micro and small cap Canadian equities. Uh, we have three funds, two mutual funds. Uh, there's an Alpha North Growth Fund, which is diversified across sectors, an Alpha North Resource Fund, an Alpha North uh, Partners Fund, which is a long bias small cap hedge fund. What's your core investment philosophy and how do you use it to choose the stocks for your funds? Well, we, we like to pick stocks on the basis of risk versus reward. So we, we try to find situations that have very attractive uh, reward or upside potential while minimizing the risk. We also like to look at companies that have a proprietary technology and are not dependent on acquisitions for growth. So as a leading fund manager, what advice can you give to uh, small cap investors right now? Well, in the current market, it's, it's always best to stick with uh, strong management teams and companies that are well financed or management teams that have the ability to get financing. That's, that's been my focus. Well, when we look at small caps, they've traditionally been much more volatile in compared to something like a large cap fund. Mm -hmm. How do you sort of manage that discrepancy? They are more volatile than large caps, but um, if you look at the long-term performance of small cap equities, uh, it's, it's far higher than the large caps. So that's why we focus on small caps. We're trying to maximize returns over the longer term. So it's only logical to invest in the area that offers the, the best returns. There's also another a misperception with large caps I think many investors have is that uh, perception of less risk. Uh, but there's been many occasions uh, where large cap stocks go, can go to zero. Uh, there's many uh, Dow 30 companies that from 20 years ago that don't exist anymore. Can you elaborate on that, uh, that a little bit, that misperception? The, the good thing about small caps is you can, if you find the right ones, you can have very significant returns, like 10 times your money or more. It's much more difficult when you are investing in a larger company. Uh, some companies uh, in recent memory that have, have basically gone bankrupt, uh, GM, AIG, WorldCom, Enron, there's a lot of mega cap companies that have um, done very poorly. Is there an audience for, or sort of a, a, a pool of investors who are still interested in small caps at this time? That, that pool is shrinking due to the recent underperformance of the, the small caps. Uh, but I think it'll come back. There's signs that uh, to be optimistic. You talked about the returns in a small cap. When might we see some of those returns uh, come back? Well, I'm looking at over the next several months to have evidence that there has been a turn in, uh, in momentum for the small caps. We've been in a bear market now for over four years. So the timing is right where you'd expect things to uh, turn and go the other way. Steve, your company recently did some research into the uh, bull and bear trends on the Canadian Venture Exchange since 1980. Can you tell us what your research showed and, and perhaps how it might impact investors today? Our research showed that um, the bull and bear markets of the venture are quite extreme. So each, each bull and bear market lasts typically two years or more. The bull markets are usually 150% or higher in terms of returns, while the bear markets uh, usually they last two years or more and they're usually minus 70 to minus 80%. So what we take away from this data is that uh, we've been in a bear market now for over four years on the venture and to the August low it's, it was down 79%. So we believe we're very near a turning point. Uh, the other thing we take away is um, we overlaid the times where the VIX, or the volatility index, spiked above 40%. And this is a measure of investor fear. Um, and it's very highly correlated to the significant lows in the venture index. What are some of the catalysts you think are driving that, um, that return to, sort of that, that uptrend in the venture market? Well, it'd be hard to predict what the catalyst will be in advance. Um, and there may be no particular catalyst. Uh, things may just start going the other way and 
it'll be months after the fact that investors realize that what the bottom was back in the summer of 2015 we should um, more seriously look at this uh, area of the market because it it is starting to recover now, Steve, when it comes to Alpha North and your funds, what are some of the sectors that you're interested in right now, and, and which ones do you think are poised to outperform in the next 12 months? Well, we've been focused a lot on technology and healthcare in the last uh, couple years, um, so we're finding a lot of good opportunities in those sectors. Uh, but we also think the resource sectors as well. Many of the stocks in those areas have been beaten up over the last uh, couple years, and the valuations are quite attractive there too. So we have technology, we have healthcare, and we have resources that you're looking at right now. What about some companies? Can you give us some specific names of companies that, that you're watching at the moment and, and perhaps some of the potential that you see there? Uh, one of the companies that we like is uh, Vagogo. Um, they do processing for uh, high-risk transactions online. And um, they've already launched in Canada with uh, several of the cryptocurrency players, uh, Bitcoin, for example. And um, we expect them to expand outside of Canada and process that business. So they typically get a 1% fee on processing those transactions. And the volumes could grow quite significantly. Uh, we also like Helios Medical. Um, they have an interesting uh, device, actually, that um, it stimulates the tongue with electricity with the idea that the brain can heal itself in effect. So they're doing two trials currently. There's an MS trial uh, that they, we, we expect results on in the next few weeks. And they're also doing, uh, in partnership with the U.S. military, a uh, traumatic brain injury trial. Thanks again, Steve, for taking the time for today's interview. Great. Thanks for having me. And for more expert interviews, don't forget to check out smallcappower.com and sign up for our newsletter. Keep up to date with all of your favorite small caps. Subscribe to our free newsletter and get daily investment ideas, breakout stocks, momentum gainers, expert and analyst stock picks, and more. Smallcappower.com, investing ideas and research.